It was just like the worst. I thought I was gonna die. I can't eat this, I can't eat that, I'm so hungry. It's gonna be rough and it's not gonna get no easier. You gonna have headaches. It's just gonna be bad. I also gave up TV time, Instagram, and secular music, so it was terrible. Like that's my main like takeaway tip that I can give to anyone. I can't reiterate that and stress that enough. Good morning guys. So excuse my voice, it's just morning voice. I did brush my teeth so I'm not dirty, but my voice is just trying to like still wake up. It's Monday morning so it's very early, but I just made breakfast. I'm just having some steel oats and bananas and I sprinkled a little cinnamon on there. So very easy breakfast today. This is actually the last day of my fast. So yeah, I thought I would do a part two to close out. So I'm about to eat this and get to work and I'll show you guys what I eat for like lunch and dinner. And then I'll probably do like a little Q and A or like explanation at the end because a few people had asked me some questions about the fast. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys another video since a few of you wanted to see a part two. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go eat this and get to work and I'll check back in with you guys at lunchtime. And hopefully my voice will not sound like this when I check back in with you guys. So I'll see you in a little bit. 346 minutes later. Hey guys, so it is like one o'clock now and I'm hungry so I'm gonna make lunch and I don't know why my voice is still like this I think it's because I was standing outside for kind of an extended period of time last night and it was really cold so just ignore my voice for the day but yeah feeling like I want something that's warm slash hot for lunch today so I'm gonna make like a little faux pizza and you'll see why it's a faux pizza because it really looks like a struggle meal but actually I really enjoy it so I'm about to whip that up and I will show you guys how I do it
I just finished making my little poor man's pizza and I'm about to eat this. Like I told y'all, I actually really love it. It doesn't look that great, but to me, it tastes good, so. Mm. Like low key, not even low key, high key. I eat this when I'm not on the fast. My friend told me about this the last time I did a Daniel fast and I just really like it. So I eat this either way. I usually do two because one, it's not enough for your boy. Like I know it's a fast, but one literally does nothing. So I do two and then usually I'm good. So I'm about to eat this and then get back to work and I'll check in with you guys for like dinner or snack time whatever comes first probably both because I feel like I'm a little on the hungrier side today more than normal so we'll see I'll see you guys in a little bit later Much later. Hey guys, so it is like 8.30 now, so it's kind of late to be eating and uh, I just say it's what it is, but I'm just about to make a little rice bowl with some leftover stuff that I already have made because I just don't feel like doing nothing else. So it is what it is. It's just, it's the last day to fast and that's where we are. So I'm about to whip this up real quick and then I'll show you guys when it's done. Okay, y'all, so here's my meal. Little rice bowl, got some brown rice, corn, black beans, tomatoes, and red onion. Basically a naked burrito, but we're calling it a rice bowl. It's literally just a mixture of a bunch of random things, but it's good and it's gonna get the job done. So yeah, I'm about to eat this and just have a little moment to myself while I figure out what I'm about to do for the rest of the night, because obviously I need to edit this video because it needs to go up tomorrow. And didn't say my grace. So yeah, I love red onion so much. Like raw red onion, cooked red onion. I just love it. So yeah, like I was saying, I need to edit this video so I can go up tomorrow. I need to finish drawing my planner spread for the week. And what else? I feel like there's still some other things I need to do before I go to sleep. So I'm gonna figure that out while I eat this. And I'm gonna check back in with you guys because I want to answer some questions that a couple people had asked me on the last video. So I'm gonna eat this and then come back and do like a little Q&A, okay? Okay. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, y'all, so I just crushed that food. It was actually so good. So yeah, I just wanted to do a little Q&A because I saw a couple of questions on the last video I did about the Daniel Fest. So I wanted to just like answer those because 
I love when you guys comment and I can comment back. So Melissa asked if I could share about like the whole Daniel Fest and give her like some ideas because she wants to hear like another perspective. So pretty much this is the second time I've done the Daniel Fest. The first time it was so hard. I had hunger pains. I had like withdrawals from caffeine because I drink coffee every day. It was just like the worst. I thought I was gonna die. It was terrible. Like it was so hard. So the first time around I stuck it out but it was it was rough this time around was a lot easier because i changed my diet like last february and i think i've mentioned this to you guys a couple times i don't eat meat and i try not to eat dairy products animal pro land animal products because i still eat seafood so that really like took a lot of strain off of doing the daniel fast because i already don't eat meat so it wasn't that hard giving up coffee obviously y'all know i have iced coffee every single morning so that was like a challenge but i haven't missed it as much as i thought i would but in addition to that i also gave up tv time instagram and secular music so that was more challenging honestly than the food and that's one of the things that i wanted to mention was that being on the fest is not so much like what you're giving up it's why you're giving up whatever it is you're like giving up and that can be different for everyone yes Daniel Fast itself is supposed to be about like limiting your food but at the end of the day the purpose of the Daniel Fast is why you're giving it up to begin with and that reason can vary from person to person. For me this was like a spiritual thing and that's why I was doing it. So it wasn't to lose weight, it wasn't to starve myself because that's literally not the point so if you're starving eat something because the point of the fast is not to starve yourself and be like miserable is to accomplish and get closer to whatever goal or whatever you're trying to accomplish by sacrificing whatever you've given up so i just wanted to point that out because the first time around the food thing was really big for me that was my main focus oh i can't eat this i can't eat that i'm so hungry and literally missed the entire point of the fast for the most part so just keep in mind why you're fasting to begin with if you're fasting to lose weight then that's a whole different thing like what i'm saying doesn't apply to that but if you're fasting for like personal or spiritual growth then don't focus so much attention on what you're not eating what you can't eat following the rules so yeah just make sure you're focusing on why you're doing the fast to begin with that's my main like takeaway tip that i can give to anyone just focus on the goal at hand focus on why you're fasting to begin with another thing that i think really helped me was having a community so if you're doing the fast it's really good and really helpful to have other people that are also doing the fast with you because it's hard enough just fasting in general but fasting by yourself to not have anybody as like an accountability partner or somebody to encourage you to keep going or stay strong it's hard to do by yourself yourself so I would encourage you to get with like a group of people or maybe even just one other person to you know lean on when it gets rough or just give you encouragement or somebody that can just know what you're going through because that helps in and of itself if you know somebody else is going through the same struggles like that just makes you feel less like I'm in this by myself so definitely link up with some people link up with a person and have somebody in your corner in it with you that can you know help you make it through because it's gonna be rough and it is rough and it's not gonna get no easier but you know it helps helps to have a support system. And then the last thing I would say is to try to do something that's super simple food wise because for me personally, I tell y'all all the time, I don't even like cooking ever. So I need simple and easy at all times. But especially with the fast, you want to be coming up with easy meals that you can make and be done with because otherwise it'll consume you thinking about like what you can make, what you can't eat, what you can put in it, what's in it, what's not allowed. Literally minimize your time focusing on what the food is supposed to be. That's why y'all see me basically make the same thing twice because once I find something that suits me, that I like, that I can eat and keep it moving, I'm gonna keep eating the same thing. Like I didn't do anything super fancy this whole fast. I probably ate the same thing every day for the most part. Like I ate some variation of that burrito or this rice bowl the entire 21 days. And that's fine. Cause like the point of eating is to live. You don't live to eat. So that's another thing that is like helpful and like eye opening about the fast. We think we need all these other like meat products and coffee and all these other things that we're so dependent on but actually like you don't but I also learned that like throughout switching up my diet as well but that's a whole nother discussion that I can tell y'all about if you want to because your girl was faithful to Chick-fil-a I mean faithful okay they knew my order they knew me at my Chick-fil-a that's by my house I know what it's like so anyway that's here nor there but the point is just to make sure that you are prepared when you go into the fast do not go into the fast blind because again that's what another thing that I did the first time around I really didn't have 
have a plan. I didn't prepare really like what I was going to eat. I was just kind of like shooting the breeze. That's another tip to help. I know I said I had three, but like another thing is to prepare your meals in advance. If you have to leave your house or you have to go to work or whatever, have meals ready to go because it just makes things easier. Cause like if you get somewhere and there's nothing there that you can eat, you gonna be miserable or you'll give in and eat something that's not on the fast. And you know, you want to stick it out because like when you set a goal, at least for me, when I set a goal, like I want to accomplish it. And so it's just easier to be prepared because it just alleviates a lot of headache, a lot of stress because then you're all feeling bad. Like, oh, I ate some I was supposed to or they don't have anything for me to eat here. Like it's just eliminate all that. Eat before you go. If you go somewhere, just eat in advance. Don't assume it's going to be something there for you to eat. Just eat before you leave home. It's so much easier. Fix a smoothie. Smoothies were my best friend. Throw some frozen fruit in the blender and go on your way. That saved me probably every other day, honestly. I made a smoothie after I bought that blender. It was smoothie time every day. So yeah, just know why you're doing the fast. Remember why you're doing the fast and focus on that, not so much on the things that you're giving up. Have a support system behind you to help you through the journey. Be prepared because if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And that is the honest goodness truth. Don't even go into it blindly. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not gonna work. You gonna have headaches. It's just gonna be bad. Just be prepared, plan in advance. And I forgot what my other tip was. I don't remember what my other tip was, but I'll insert it here. <laughs> but yeah, the main thing is to focus on why you're doing the fast. Like, I can't reiterate that and stress that enough. That is the main thing. And I think a lot of us get lost in, you know, focusing on what we can eat, what we can not eat, what's on the list, what's not on the list. Is that allowed? Is that not allowed? That's not the point of the fast. So just remember the point of the fast and you'll be good. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be challenging, but just focus on why you're doing it. Remind yourself why you're doing it and you should be good. So yeah, if you have any other questions, you can hit me up. You can email me or you can just put in the comments and I'll respond as best as I can. And yeah, like I told you guys earlier, this is my last day on the fast. So we are drawing to a close here and I feel pretty good. So I'm going to go now and edit this video and I will see you guys on Thursday. Mm -hmm.